Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss a very important question of projectile motion which is a situation when the final velocity becomes perpendicular to the initial velocity. This is video number 2 for the same question. I have also made one video which is written as method number 1. So kindly see that also. Let's proceed. So here is the question. A particle is thrown with initial velocity u from the ground making an angle theta with the horizontal. Find the time after which the velocity vector becomes perpendicular to the initial velocity. So as, as you can see here from the point A on the ground a particle is given a velocity u making an angle theta with the horizontal. Then after some time this particle will travel along this parabolic path and here at this instant its velocity will be directed along this direction. Actually the instantaneous velocity vector is always along the tangential direction of the trajectory. So this trajectory or the path is a parabola and at any instant of time the velocity vector will be along the tangential direction. So this line dotted line shows the tangent to the curve at this instant and this dotted line another shows the tangent at this point. So velocity vector is along the tangent. This initial velocity vector is along this tangent and this velocity vector v is along this tangent. Now it is needed that in the question that the angle between the final velocity and initial velocity should become 90 degree. That means we want to find out after how much time t seconds the velocity final velocity vector will become perpendicular to the initial velocity vector. So at time t is equal to 0 the particle begins its motion from point A and after that after t seconds the velocity vector becomes perpendicular to the initial velocity. Let us see how to solve this question. First we can resolve the components of the initial velocity vector along horizontal and vertical. So since the horizontal component is making angle theta with the ve with the vector so therefore horizontal component will become u cos theta and the vertical component will be u sin theta. Now let us write down this initial velocity vector in the Cartesian notation that means with i cap and j cap as you can see u cos theta is along the x direction and u sin theta is along the y direction therefore we can say that this initial velocity vector u can be written as u cos theta i cap this u cos theta along plus i cap direction and u sin theta along the j cap along y axis you know i cap is the unit vector along x direction and j cap is the unit vector along the y direction similarly this velocity vector v after t seconds this also has x and y components. Let us say they are vx and vy. How can we find out these values of vx and vi? vy for this vector is this way. We can use the first equation of motion v is equal to u plus a t only for x direction along x direction and similarly we can also use the first equation of motion only for y direction separately. So first Applying the first equation of motion v is equal to u plus a t for x direction only. We will substitute values here. As you know u x means x component of initial velocity which is u cos theta. A x is the x component of acceleration that means the horizontal component of acceleration. But you know in a projectile motion the horizontal component of acceleration is always 0. So therefore a x is 0 and thus the x component of the final velocity here this final velocity is x component would be u cos theta. Similarly what about this vy the y component of this final velocity. So using the first equation of motion v is equal to u plus a t applied along the y direction. We will put the values here now what is u y u y is this u sin theta the y component of initial velocity which is u sin theta. And what about a y acceleration along the y direction is minus g because for any type of projectile motion or motion under gravity we know that the acceleration due to gravity is always acting in the vertically downward direction. The gravity of the earth is pulling everything vertically downward. So downward direction is considered as negative. 
that's why ay is minus g now we got the values of vx and vy these are the x and y components of our final velocity vector v so we substitute these values here and we will get the v vector as this u cos theta i cap and u sin theta minus gt j cap now we have found the final velocity vector and initial velocity vector and our aim is to find out this time t after which this final velocity vector will become perpendicular to the initial velocity vector now here is the concept the dot product of perpendicular vectors is always zero that means whenever two vectors are perpendicular to each other their dot product is zero as we can see in the figure that initial velocity vector u and the final velocity vector b they are perpendicular to each other so u dot with v must be equal to zero so now let us substitute the values of u and v into this equation and we will get this whole thing is u dot with v is equal to zero we have substituted these values here now let us perform this dot product how we perform dot product first of all we look at the coefficient of i cap in the first vector and the coefficient of i cap in the second vector and we multiply them similarly we take the coefficient of j cap from the first vector and multiply with the coefficient of j cap in the second vector so we have to multiply coefficient of i cap u cos theta with the coefficient of i cap u cos theta so we will get u square cos square theta then we have to multiply this u sin theta the coefficient of j cap with this coefficient of j cap that means u sin theta into this entire bracket so u sin theta into u sin theta will become u square sin square theta and then u sin theta into minus gt will be get minus u sin theta into gt and this should be equal to zero good now you see here first two terms can we take u square common from here if you take u square common then bracket we get cos square theta plus sin square theta and this negative term you send to the right side will become u sin theta into gt now we know that cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 therefore u square into 1 is equal to u sin theta into gt and thus we can write down the time t time taken t is equal to u square divided by u sin theta into g now this u will cancel this u from here and the final answer is t is equal to u divided by g sin theta so this was the second video in which we got the same answer kindly see also my first video on the same question that was solved by a different method yet we get the same answer i hope you have liked my video so please subscribe my channel which is youtube.com slash the physics guru and thanks for watching my video.